excited to hear with us. Have a, here with us here, uh, the creator of Appium, Dan. He's doing a session on Appium. So Dan, could you just tell us a little bit more what your session's gonna be on? Cool, uh, yeah, so uh, Stuart Russell of Intuit and uh, Josef Durr of Microsoft and I are going to present on automating desktop apps with Appium. So it's the next step in the StarDriver vision. We started with WebDriver, which automated websites, yeah. and then with Appium, we sort of generalized it to do mobile applications, and now the next step is that we're bringing in other kinds of apps, and so we're going to talk about Windows support and Mac support. Windows support, which is almost in fully released, but it's in beta now, and then Mac support, which is also in beta. Uh, and then about sort of the star driver vision of one protocol to automate all the things uh, and how we're achieving that. Oh, cool. Appium takes a more broad view on it and says, well, why have a protocol just to automate one thing? We feel that automation is similar enough that we might be able to develop one protocol to automate everything, which we're referring to currently as the star driver vision. So at Appium, we're working on continuing to generalize the WebDriver specification so that perhaps one day we might have one protocol to automate all the things. Uh, and then much further down the line, eventually people will just bring their own implementations to the table and we won't be doing anything. We'll just be standing around taking credit for it or something. So I heard of, of a WinApp driver. Does this have anything to do with Appium? Uh, yes, that's the Windows implementation okay. for Appium. So I could literally automate uh, a web-based application using Appium. So like if I had a calculator or a Windows WPF application, I could... A Windows-based application, yeah. yes. Okay. And it does support some web content. Uh, we'll go into the specifics in the talk. Okay, cool. But yeah, web, full web content hopefully soon on Windows, but it does have some support for it. So if someone's familiar with Appium already, uh, how, how would they be able to leverage this? Is the same technology? It's the same technology. Language? You really need to learn very little other than a different set of capabilities. Uh, because it's just the same protocol applied differently. So the same, less of a learning curve even than the Selenium people when they came to Appium. Right, okay. So you, you were mentioning that it also would work on Mac or Linux based on... Uh, Mac right now. Mac? There exists no implementation for Linux, but okay. it's certainly possible to write one. All right, cool. I just haven't had anyone chip in with that yet. Okay. So you're actually going to be actively involved in the development of this? I know you've been a little hands-off with Appium. Uh, yeah, or... I wrote the prototype for the Mac implementation, okay. and I tried to write a prototype for the Windows yeah. one, but... Uh, some people in Russia wrote a better one that then, and then Microsoft came and wrote their own. And so when you have the vendor writing it themselves, right. I think it would be hard for someone on the outside to do any better than that. And that's the approach we're looking for anyway, is to eventually have the vendors come in and do all of the implementation and have the protocol sort of be its own thing that we work on together and the tooling around that. Yep. So well, when you created Appium, did you ever think it would develop to this point where you're actually branching off into... So yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> I never expected it to like Appium to ever work. But once Appium worked, I thought that Windows apps and Mac apps were kind of inevitable. Right. We always sort of had the slogan automation for apps. And yep. we, Jonathan and I joked about like, oh, one day Windows and Mac. And we weren't really joking. We really thought that like one day this would happen. And right. then, why not use this for everything? Um, but yeah, I never thought Appium would ever become anything. Right. But, but once that leap happened, now I guess I, I assume more and more is possible than I used to. Okay. Now, I just want to get your, your opinion on this. I've been hearing more and more about Espresso, and I've been getting asked questions what's the difference between Espresso and uh, Appium. I don't know if you're familiar with Espresso yeah, or yeah, Donato. Yeah. You know, what, what would you have views on that? Um, yeah, for some people, uh, it might be the correct choice. Uh, for a, there's a lot of advantages to having Appium, but there's also a lot of advantages to going with the with the Google supplied protocol Espresso, which is shipped with later versions of Android. Um, so if you don't need some of the benefits of Appium, such as compatibility with legacy Android devices, one protocol for both iOS and Android, and then some of the other tooling that comes around it that we have, and you have a team that writes Java code. Uh, and they're the developers. Espresso might be a good choice because you'll have a more tightly coupled set of automation. Um, but that being said, there's still many benefits that Appium brings to the table. And I think for most people, Appium is still the correct choice. But there does exist that niche developer market who does do their own automation and who wants to use it, where a tool like Espresso could work really well for them uh, and could provide things that Appium wouldn't. Cool.